Good morning. Today we are here at Jungle Gems, located in Fairfield, Ohio. This is an amazing international market. We're going to go in, check out some of the things they got. They carry over uh, products from over 70 different countries. This place is awesome. Let's go check it out. So as we first come up on it here, you can see the jungle outside. Pretty awesome. Got the giraffes. Got some music playing here. Got the elephant. All kinds of little animals out here. This place is cool. <laughs> I got the boss here with me. <laughs> you happy to check out some jungle gems action? This place is really cool. As soon as you come in the entrance here, they've just got all kinds of cool stuff. Different, uh, the theming in here is incredible. I mean, it is just super awesome. Oh, some old school airplane seats. Well, that's pretty awesome. Boy, it'd be nice if the seats were like this still on an airplane. Yeah. Maybe first class. Oh, it goes back. Does it? Oh. You gotta push the button right here. Oh, so yes, Jungle Gems is not just food. They have all kinds of stuff up here. Check out these lights. They are really cool. All kinds of toys and collectibles back here. As so, soon as you walk in the front door, which here's the front door, you have all the toys. Leads you right into a bunch of Star Wars stuff, so you know I love this place. So much going on in here. Uh, it is very packed today, so we're going to try and try and see everything we can. Here's like a, a horror movie section, I guess. <laughs> got the thing, got, got some Ouija boards, Ghostbusters. If you like Funko Pops, they have an entire wall of them here. I mean, a whole wall of them. They are a little pricey. $12 is a little much. We've seen them at Target for $8.99, which is up from $7.99, but I'm sure they have a much better selection here. But yeah, they are a little pricey. So if you're a big Harry Potter fan like Jessica, you will definitely love this place. They have got all things Harry Potter, puzzles, just all kinds of stuff. So something interesting when you come into Jungle Gems, you can fool the greeter. He will guess your age, weight, or birth month. So I went up to the guy and he guessed the wrong birth month. And he gave me this thing. How cool is that? Kind of like a slinky for your arm. This place is so awesome. They have so many different things in here. I was just looking at some of the DC and Marvel statues that they have. Uh, probably not going to be able to get everything in here. This place is absolutely huge. Hundreds of thousands of products for sale. We're going to check out a lot of the food, but we're kind of enjoying the area going on here today. As you can see behind me, they have a Grater's ice cream, which is a Cincinnati favorite. Uh, as you guys know who've watched the channel for a long time, my favorite's UDF, but, you know, Grater's is okay. It's a little overpriced for ice cream, but uh, all kinds of cool stuff here. Awesome, themed. It, it's just there's so much in here to cover. So if you keep going around here, you'll come up to the Jungle Pets. Curious to see what kind of pet food options they have in here. Um, now, they don't have Jungle Gems all across the country. The only two that I know of are here in Cincinnati. But this is a place that you can come to if you're traveling to Cincinnati, maybe to one of our theme parks or the Cincinnati Zoo. Uh, this place is definitely worth taking a trip to. We're going to check out some of the international food products here in a few minutes, but it does look like they have a good amount of bird food. They do have a good amount of cat food. I will say some of the similar ones, though, are missing just as much here as they are at other stores. Probably have a lot more. This place is huge, but it is a very small section of wet canned cat food. So they do have a lot more fancy feast than we've seen. They are a little more expensive though. 99 cents a can. Uh, we've seen it for 80 cents a can at Kroger. Pretty much 80 cents everywhere else. So it is a little more pricey. Uh, Friskies, 89 cents. 90 cents a can. That is a lot more than what you would pay at some of the grocery stores. Um, and they do have a lot of different other options here, but yeah, some of these get expensive. $2.89 for this can of cat food. Do have the Nine Lives boxes, which we haven't seen many of those. And they have some of the Friskies boxes where you do save a couple dollars. But I gotta say, yes, it is a lot higher here in price. 
Uh, probably why they're able to get a lot more in than a lot of stores because they're probably paying a little more. Not really sure on that, but it is an option pretty much only if you live around here. I don't, I'm sure that they do some kind of online orders and stuff, so you may want to check that out, but for 99 cents a can, that's a little pricey. Doesn't look like they have much canned dog food. They do have a lot of other different kinds of options that we can't find in most stores. I can't go over every one of them. Um, and some of these are kind of pricey, $2.19, $2.29. Um, you know, the blue, which is a popular with a lot of our viewers, but it is expensive, $3.29 a can here. I didn't realize that I just had to walk to the other aisle here. They have four, four aisles dedicated to just cats and dogs. So there is more um, pet food, more dog food. They have the yams here, $1.59 a can. I know some people were talking about yams. They have the Caesar packets pedigree dollar 69 a can uh we've seen that cheaper alpo dollar 35 eh, it's about about the same i guess the caesar packs are a little more dollar 29 we've seen those for a dollar 19 uh, i believe it was kroger that had it on sale this week for a dollar nine but they do have plenty of dry so to give you guys a point of reference as we come in at first the jungle gems here if you turn to the left it'll bring you up on the jungle pets past all the different things past graders ice cream all the toys and all the collectibles are back in here and we come up on jungle gyms cookware here many 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 different cooking options uh, i'm not going to go over all this stuff we want to get to some of the international foods today but we will be back and you know not too sure about some of these brands some of this stuff is really pricey i'm not going to lie but uh, Cusinart is a uh, well-known name brand product, and they're pretty expensive. Um, this is a blender for $249, uh, you know, but if this is what you like. If you cook for a living, if you cook all the time, you, you know, it's, it's worth getting some of the better products that ain't going to break down on you here. Tons of different baking pans, uh, different kinds of uh, things, pastries dishes and every everything you can think of i mean this place is amazing you can make uh chocolate strawberries <laughs> or any kind of strawberry so as we come out of the cookware here if you look up they have the nascar car right here and we come around we come out a little further and they sell lodge cast irons whole lodge cast iron wear and all this stuff this is really awesome and they've got it's all over the place over here uh, they got some of the big skillets here. They got the Flintstone skillet that I almost bought down in Tennessee. Uh, $71.99. That's not that bad of a price. That's pretty good. Um, yeah, this is actually the one that I would probably get to go camping or something. You can make breakfast for everybody. 15-inch cast iron skillet. $49. That's a pretty good price. Pretty much have them all, guys. I mean, they got every size you can think of. Hello. <laughs> it's pretty awesome, ain't it? Yeah. It's been so long since I've been to Jungle Gyms. Jess used to come up here uh, a few times a year. But I'll tell you what, look at this. A really cool old stove here. What year do you think this was? Don't know. I don't either. 1937. 1937. I'm going to say like <laughs> 1920 or something. I mean, this is... Oh, yeah. The smoke hole. All the way up there. That would, that would go up through your cabin or home a hundred years ago. Champion. So if you were familiar with Jungle Gems, you will remember that this used to be the entrance. Now this is right past the lodge. Uh, cast iron cookware that we saw. We have this underneath here. Huh? I was going to say, I think this is all new. This is all new? It, you said that's me, where... That's where we used to come in though, right? Yeah, but I don't remember any of this stuff. Yeah, this stuff wasn't here. But if we turn to our left, they have a sushi bar. And as we look past the sushi bar here, it opens up into a huge international market of foods. We got the big Campbell's guy over there, Shoppers Express over here, Olive Pit. Wow, so much. 
So you said this is all the regular this stuff? This is like the regular grocery store stuff, like the normal things you would find. Okay. And then like all the international things are all down further that way. <laughs> down that way? Yeah. Okay, so all the international foods just the same as down here. This is like your normal shopping, although this is anything but normal. <laughs> this place is awesome. They have the Boar's Head brand truck up there. This place is just too cool. This olive pit here is really got me curious for some good olives. If you're gonna have a place called the Olive Pit, they better have some good olives, right? Okay, so they have multiple different olive options here. A lot of them stuffed, a lot of the green olives. These ones are stuffed with blue cheese. This is $6. Um, they do have the pitted mix, grease mix. Uh, bunch of different olives here, a good mix of them. I don't know how much that is. Let's see. Uh, five dollars and seventy nine cents. Yeah, it's like all different. Yeah, well that that don't sound too bad. That's a good amount of olives. So I did want to show since we were back here, all of these ramen noodles. I gotta say, it's not as many as I would think. Now they have some up on the rafters and stuff. Well, this is something that has been an issue across the country. A lot of people love their ramen noodles. Uh, whether they like it just by the single packs or mixing it with meals, that's usually what they do. They do have a lot of different flavors, I will say that. They got the lime chili shrimp flavor. I don't think I've ever seen that kind. Uh, here's the chili flavor. Somebody was asking about the chili that you couldn't find them anymore. Now they are 33 cents here. Uh, single pack may be that expensive the next time we check. I know they were 28 cents a pack at Walmart, um, but they do uh, picante chicken, uh, lots of different flavors here. So I was talking to an employee, and he said that a lot of the honeys that come in here are a lot of locally farmed honey, and a lot of local farmers in Ohio bring their products here directly to Jungle Gems, um, which is really cool. So, you know, we, we do have farmers bringing their products and produce and everything else into Jungle Gems here, which makes it a farmer's market in a way. And I got to say... They have a ton of bread. We are going to have to, like, I'm not going to be able to go over everything like I do in normal stores today because I'm a bit overwhelmed by how big this place is. I guess I kind of forgot. Plus, it's a little bigger than it used to be when we came here a while back. They've added a lot of stuff. But he told me that this honey here is fantastic. And for 16 ounces, $9.09. That's pretty good. And you can even get a 45 ounce for $25.19. Um... That's really good. So most of their sales, when you see them, they'll have this Price Magic sticker on them. Um, just randomly, you got the pork and beans here, Van Camps. We've been seeing these have been $1.19 a can. 69 cents here. Um, and there's a lot of different sales. Yeah, we might want to pick up a couple cans. <laughs> I was telling everybody in yesterday's video how you dress up your baked beans. Which I think we actually filmed that in a video, but I can't remember which one it was. Um, and there is, you just got to kind of look around. This place is amazing. Look at that. We are noticing a bunch of Essential Every Day, which is, I guess, a brand, a cheaper brand that they get in here. Let us know down in the comments if you've ever been to Jungle Gems and if you've ever tried the Essential Every Day products. For instance, this can of cream of mushroom is 89 cents. Um, now, we have found at places like Aldi and Walmart, great value, those are a little cheaper, but I don't know. I mean, never tried any of the essential everyday products, so let us know down below. Wanted to check out some of the spaghetti options that they have. They have a ton of different brands of egg noodles. We know that egg noodles have been a bit of an issue across the country, and they have a lot. Um, I wouldn't say a ton. I would kind of expect them to have more spaghetti than what they do have. But they have some different brands here that we've never seen before, like Mueller's. Uh, San Giorgio, I believe, is a pretty popular spaghetti, but we don't really sell that around here. So good to see they have that in. $1.19 a box. And it, it, they do have a lot more spaghetti than we've been able to find at a lot of other stores. Barilla, though, you know, we've seen Barilla's $1.80 at Kroger, $2.19 here. So that's a lot more expensive. Um, and they do have Kermit Thick and Hardy never seen this kind dollar 72 that's pretty pricey uh dollar 19 though for the regular spaghetti is that what that is yeah so that is cheaper than kroger uh kroger's had a sale on it but 
Um, normally it's a dollar fifty a box, so to get it for a dollar nineteen, it's not too bad. We should get these. Yeah, no, bow tie noodles have been really hard to find. So we're gonna go ahead and get a box of those. So I did want to show that these are their actual restrooms right here. You walk into the portal out here and it actually opens up into a huge restroom. We're not gonna go in there. But just wanted to show you this is part of the fun stuff that they add to, to Jungle Gems. Okay, so somebody was telling me that they have a podcast that they actually do here every Wednesday. JungleGems.com, WJJI. This is actually where they do it. They do the, the uh, podcast here. That's really cool. Never knew this. I have to check it out. I don't know if you know this, but as I was going back up to the front there, this guy was telling me they actually do a podcast here every Wednesday. Remember where we were sitting oh, yeah, in the airplane the seats? Yeah, they do a podcast. Interesting. And just found some awesome looking Let's, pickles. I'll show you over there. Oh, okay. So in these barrels here, this is where you would get your dill pickles. Three for three. Got a little grabber there. They have dill, they have hot, they have garlic. Dill, hot, and garlic. You just got the dill, right? Dill, yeah. Awesome. To give you an idea of how massive a lot of this stuff is, is all this stuff is boar's head meat and cheeses, and it just goes all the way down here to their grab-and-go, to where it's like pre-sliced stuff. And it just goes on and on and on. We have entered the land of cheese. They call it the big cheese. You can pretty much smell it all the way back here. Got a whole tower dedicated. They have a charcuterie over here and they have all the different ones named. I like how they do this. This is all blue cheese in here. They have goat's milk cheese, sheep's milk cheese. And over here, we've got some Italian cheeses. Uh, Parmesan and Romano and mozzarella. This is actually a big thing of cheese. The big, yes, it is. The big cheese weighs in at 762 pounds. Did you know our big cheese takes three months to make before it gets here? It is then aged in our cooler until it is matured and is ready to be taken down for your enjoyment. Isn't that crazy? <laughs> that is epic. This is the most cheese I've ever seen in my life. Even once you get past what you think is the store of cheese, they have more cheese down here. And you guys can see how packed it is in here today. We're kind of having a tough time getting around. But you know what? We're having fun. This place is awesome. Check this out, guys. Is this heaven or what? This is amazing. This is the most cheese I've ever seen in my life. This place is like an amusement park. It really is. <laughs> place is awesome we're cooling off by the cheese here because i mean there is a million people in this place don't know if i would recommend coming here on an early saturday yeah, afternoon like maybe come during the week like on a tuesday or wednesday and catch that podcast um all kinds look at this roasted pepper and garlic there's so this was chicken it's cheese like flavored cheese curds. <laughs> don't it look like don't that look like grilled chicken it does curds, but it's it does. cheese curds like flavored cheese curds i don't know it looks kind of weird Interesting. Uh, got some spinach dip here. Man, I don't know. This yeah. roasted pepper and garlic. I might have to try this. So as we come past the city of cheese, Jessica just pointed out that they have a butter bar. The best from Europe and America. Let's check out a couple of these. Grassland butter. Hand rolled butter. What? Wow. This is crazy, guys. This is so cool. It's been a long time since I've been up here, and I gotta say, it's a lot bigger than I remember. They've definitely added a lot more stuff. Uh, you come anywhere near Cincinnati, anywhere within 100 miles, get here to Jungle Gems. This place is amazing. Uh, and just bring some money with you. So I wanted to come back here and show you guys that they have a tasting bar back here. All this that goes all the way up down the cheese aisle is all wines and beers. Like, it is like city of wine. It is crazy amazing. Look at that, they got Marilyn Monroe up here. And they have a tasting bar. Beer Fest, June 17th and 18th. Over 400 beers and 100 breweries. Oh my goodness, wait in line right here. And yeah, you can get a beer, do some shopping. They got a uh, little sample uh, wine and beer stands all over the place. I am not kidding. You could get lost in this place. It is ridiculously huge. We have the tasting bar back here with that whole city of booze on the other side. And back here, we have another winery. 
<laughs> like, this is crazy. You only get usually at the Smoky Mountain. Oh, yeah. Like the pickles, oh, the special ones, yeah. The cherries, the, this one. Yeah, the cherry one I know you can only get. Usually. And the pickle. And they have this, this was a newer one they just came out with. Oh, yeah, that's right. And they got a liquor store over on the other side. Yeah. So anything you can think of for your parties or anything, yeah. this place is absolutely amazing. I do believe this is the farthest end of the store. So we're going to just kind of walk around here for a second, but then we're going to go check out the International Foods. Yeah, wine, wine, and more wine. Quit whining. So they even have your bottle wine holders. It's pretty cool. Just just pointed this out here. That's really cool. Kind of looks like Johnny Bench. Doesn't, doesn't have the C on the hat, though. I think I was a little unprepared for this place today. It is so massive, a lot bigger than I ever remember. Um, and there's so much stuff, so much to do. It's like a party for food. And we see a lot of guys sitting at tables watching the games, uh, drinking, having a good time while others are shopping. This place is nuts. We're kind of entering what I like to call candy land here. All kinds of candy, but as I wanted to turn here and show you guys, here's where that Price Magic sign is. Here's the big cheese tower. And if we go past the cheese tower, everything past here on the left, all the way to the back to the right, is all wine, liquor, and beer. So if you can't find it here, they don't sell it. So when is the last time anybody has seen this? <laughs> oh, you want to fool your friends? Fruit straight gum. There you go. Flavor for only two seconds. Right. Check this out. They even got bazooka gum. Bazooka. Ain't seen that in years. Remember when they used to have the little comics in there? What, you find something? I found your breakfast. What's that? Oh, wow. <laughs> Gummy <laughs> breakfast. Yes. Crazy. That is crazy. I'm always a little weary about those things. I know. It looks like... Like the giant gummy bears. See, if it tasted like... Like, you know how that jello stuff that's real thick, like the jello jiggler things? Yeah. If it tasted like that, it would be good, but I feel like it doesn't taste like that. No. I mean, I've never, to be fair, I've never tried one that right. big, so maybe someday. So if your kids like Pez dispensers, or if you just like to collect them, this is the place to come. Hey, look at this. Pokemon. <laughs> oh, there's so much stuff. Even up here, they even got more, like, toys and stuff. We're not even in that section. Look at this. Scooby-Doo oh, Mystery Machine. Oh, they are. These are collectible. Oh, not, not for sale. One. Not for sale. We saw that Lord of the Rings one. Wasn't that in uh, Florida? Oh, wait. Look. Here's the one. Which one? Oh, wow. <laughs> That's cool. Billabo Baggins. So, apparently, Elvis the Bear. This is I don't believe this is where he used to be. I think he used to be up front. But he plays every five minutes. Gets the crowd going. Pretty awesome. Unfortunately, it's all copyright music, so I can't play it. But he is fun to watch. So, interesting thing that Jessica just pointed out here. They made Jim, the Jungle Jim owner, out of Jelly Bellies. Which they have millions and millions of Jelly Bellies here on the wall. Uh, $8.99 a pound. That's pretty much what it is everywhere for these things. I just thought this was really cool. Uh, presented presented by the Jelly Belly Candy Company to Jungle Gems International Market on April 21st, 2018. So I wanted to show some of the cakes that they have here. I can't go over every one of them, obviously, because there are so many. But look at these. This is like Disney World-esque bakery. Look at this. Opera cream cupcake. You want one? I love opera cream. Okay, well, we're getting you one. <laughs> I might get this peanut butter... Oh no, sea salt caramel cashew truffle cake. Wow, this looks amazing. Look at this black raspberry cheesecake. This is crazy. We need to come up here all the time. <laughs> I don't know why we haven't been. Lemon blueberry. So there's so many people here, so I can't really go over this section right now, but I just kind of wanted to give you guys a little overview of some of the other things we got. We are going to try a couple of the macarons. They are a little pricey, $1.99 a piece, but look at these show some of this Amish farm chicken that they have here, the Gerber's Amish farm. Uh, Gluten-free, vegetarian diet, no antibiotics or additives, cage-free, room to roam, sunlight and fresh air. This chicken does look really good. 
Um, they have these legs here, $1.99 a pound, $5.65 for the Amish Farm Gerbers. Yeah, I mean, it don't look too bad, and they've got a good amount. I'll tell you what, guys, if you got a sweet tooth, this might be your place to come here. I mean, it's huge. I mean, I'm not going to keep saying this store's huge because we all know it is by now. I did want to point out that they do have the black and white cut or the black and white cookies that everybody was talking about at Publix. $4.99 here. I believe that's a dollar cheaper. It is 10 cookies. Uh, looks the exact same. Just thought I'd point that out. We got a lot of Publix fans on the channel here. Over here, we've got exotic meats from around the world. All kinds of different options in here. We got Johnsonville, we got some Genio turkey burgers. They got these Euro kits. We got the Montgomery, and this is like a lot of different Cincinnati uh, owned products here, like La Rose's, Montgomery and chicken. Uh, pork is what they're most famous for. That's pretty cool. Got a Gleer's Getta slider kit there. It's pretty awesome. We've come up on the Jungle Gems meat counter here. I do gotta say it's a little pricey, but boy, it looks really good. $38.99 a pound for the Wagyu Kobe, Kobe style beef ribeye. Eesh, that is pricey. I know Wagyu is pretty pricey anyway, but that's, that's crazy. They do have the Wagyu ground sirloin for $7.99 a pound. I gotta say their 80-20 hamburger looks pretty good here. Uh, it kind of reminds me of Meyer as far as the way it looks. Um, looks like it's $4.59 a pound, 2.85 pounds for $13. Uh, doesn't really seem like it's too bad for what you get here. I mean, it looks pretty good. So as we get back toward the produce here, I did want to point out that they do have Washington apples here. The Rocket Washington apples, three pound tub, $7.99. A little pricey. A lot of you guys have asked about these, haven't been able to find them. You can really smell the fresh produce back here. It smells wonderful. They got some plums. Haven't seen any plums anywhere in a while. That's good to see. They got some of the Sumo oranges. These are $2.19 a piece, but a little less than $2.50 a piece where they are at like most stores. Do got the one pound Driscoll strawberries. I gotta say they look good, but $3.99 is a little much. We've been seeing them on sale for $2.49, anywhere from $2.49 to $3.00. Um, and yeah, it is a little more pricey here. They do have the fresh pint of blueberries here for $1.99. That's not bad. Just wanted to show you how massive their produce is back here. This is insane. The most produce I've ever seen in a store ever. This is crazy. I'll tell you what, if you're looking for mushrooms, look no further. This is the mushroom section. They actually have an entire section dedicated to all mushrooms. It looks like a mushroom right there. Oh yeah. And they even, they even let you know right away, you need mushrooms, here they are. Kind of looks like a farmer's market back there because they have like all the fresh stuff that they're pulling off the truck and putting out. Yeah, yeah, that is really cool. Well, that, that's exactly what they do, you know that, right? These are all local farmers that are actually bringing their products right to Jungle Gyms, which makes this even more awesome, letting you know that a lot of your money that you spend here is going right into the farmer's park pockets, which we need. Came across a pretty good deal here, and this is some of the freshest I've ever seen. Asparagus here, $1.49 a pound. It's a pretty good deal. We've seen it as high over $3 a pound, so that's pretty good. Oh yes, they're bringing all this out, bringing it up. Some of the fresh, freshest produce you've ever seen in your life. Uh, right from the farm, right to the aisle here. Look at these tomatoes. These are huge. Look at that, big as my hand, fresh. Oh, this is great. So as we look a little deeper here under the, the cobs of corn here, they have split ones here too, because a lot of people like to have them already split when they throw them on the grill, get them a little crispy. Also, Jessica was bringing up, it kind of makes it like a little bit of a display here too, which is kind of nice. Now it is four ears for $3.99, which is a little pricey, but you know, this is going directly into Jungle Gyms and the farmer's pockets. So this is really awesome. Good to know that our money is being put to the people who need it. So me and Jessica are gonna try and make this guacamole dip. Well, Jessica's gonna try. So uh, this lady told us something interesting. If you pull the stem off and, and it's a little greener, that means it's got a little bit of time. Yeah, so Jess so just found one here. It's green on the inside. Yeah. That means that it's really fresh. Right. And if it's not green, then it's older. So should we get that one? This one's a little brown. Well, we can try to find a different one. That's about that size if you want one yeah. like that size. Okay. And the firmness, I guess. Yeah, she said if it's a little, just you want it to be just a little squeezy, not much. 
I did want to kind of show you guys a little bit of a better view of the other side. This isn't even the side we saw before. More tomatoes, fresh cut green beans right off the farm, white onions right off the farm. Look at these. Oh, they look so good. This is awesome. We need to make, every, one, every couple weeks, me and Jessica need to come up here. This place is great. It's good to know that our money is going into the hands of the people that need it most, in my opinion. Look at these. Best red tomatoes I've seen in a while. How much are these per pound? Uh, let's see. 88 cents a pound. That's a good deal. That's a good deal. That's better than Kroger. Kroger's been 99 cents a pound, and actually, they might be a little more now. Okay, put it up on the scale there. Let's see what it is. One and a half. About one and a half pounds. Dollar cool. fifty. Actually, less than that. <laughs> so I wanted to show that they actually have the Guatemala extra sweet cantaloupe melons, two for five dollars. Fed a few comments over these of these over the past couple months, and I just wanted to show. And this is something cool that they do. They actually put one on display to show you what they are looking like, the ripeness and stuff like that. I gotta say, it looks pretty good to me. So just past the produce here, I wanted to point out they have this awesome display here of Gilligan's Island, the SS Minnow, and up here we got the Lucky Charms guy, the Tricks guy, and the Honey Nut Cheerios guy, and a little band playing up there. How cool is that? Jessica just pointed out one of the most insane things I've ever seen. Dominican Jumbo Avocados. Look at these. Look at this. That is the biggest avocado I have ever seen. I can barely palm that. Okay, so to give you guys an idea of how we've gotten through this, we got the line where they bring out the fresh produce off the, off the trucks and in the warehouse. We have another line down here that completely wraps around. Down here we start with the international fruits and vegetables. So they have whole cooked Dungeness crab here for $19.99 a pound. Look at that guy. Here we got the clusters, $29.99 a pound. I mean, we know that crab has really gone up over time here, but man, look at this. So what you find here? This is like regular, like real caviar. Look how expensive wow, it is. Wow, $129 for that little thing of caviar. Sheesh, for one ounce. Royal Ocestra Caviar. Look at these shrimp. Whoa. These remind me of the shrimps in... Uh, those are huge. Where did we get those? Boathouse. The Boathouse in Florida. What is that, $29.99 a pound? Yeah, okay. Um, these are amazing, though. Jeez, where do you find shrimp that big? Maine? I don't know. You got some smaller ones here, $14.99 a pound. They're still huge, though. Okay, so we did something. <laughs> Look at that. $15 for all these giant shrimp. I feel like for the amount that you're getting here, this is like two dinners at Red Lobster. Oh, $15 yeah. $15 a piece. Yeah. So we're buying this and then some other stuff to grill. That's dinner tonight. We're going to make our corn on the cob and skewer some shrimp. Oh, yeah. I would like to note that me and Jessica have been going up to everybody that has been helping everybody and thanking them for such a great job that they are doing here. This place is amazing. Look at these salmons over here. I mean, this one is huge. This, I don't even know if I could fit that on my grill. Well, yeah, I could. I might hang off a little, might have to cut some parts, but I can make it happen. $16.99 a pound, a little pricey, but it is the Norwegian salmon fillets, and I gotta say, they look absolutely fantastic. One nice thing too is that they will direct you to anything that they have that you need to make or to cook with what they have. We needed skewers to do our shrimp and skewers tonight. Uh, they've got the bamboo skewers. I recommend getting the longer ones since they're the same price. You can always break them down, but you can't add. You know what I mean? So, yeah, always better to get the bigger ones. If you guys are one tilapia, check this out. You can get them live. Hello, buddy. How are you doing? You ready for dinner? I feel like this video is gonna be about three hours long. Okay, so in case you get lost, they actually have an international food guide that will take you throughout Jungle Gyms here and shows you the different parts of the world uh, in different countries of where the food comes from. So Jessica was just pointing out here that you can look up above you and you can see that you're in the Asian section, the Hispanic section, 
Uh, there's an African section over here behind that barrel. Asian, Italian, everything, guys. And here we are in the Asian section with a bunch of different soy sauces from all over the world. Uh, I think I've actually tried this before. Uh, I can't remember. I don't know. There's so much stuff in here. Um, all different kinds of frozen Asian cuisines. Uh, it's just crazy. All kinds of stuff. Pot stickers. So they even have some different, uh, I believe this, is this Chinese ice cream or Japan? It just says Asian. Asian. Yeah, so Asian like ice creams all from all over Asia, I would imagine. All different kinds of cool stuff, though. Some of this stuff is Japan because they have the Pockies, which I know are real popular again these days. From here down, uh, this is all Japanese snacks, candies, treats, just all kinds of stuff. This is amazing. This is crazy. This is crazy. I feel like we're at World Showcase at Epcot. Uh, that's exactly what it reminds me <laughs> So we kind of just wandered back here a little bit. We have the Indian, East Europe, Germany, China, Nepal, Great Britain, rice <laughs> so that is all rice over here guys if you're looking for any kind of rice they have it world of ramen back here i don't know how well you can see that world of ramen so back here by china i also wanted to show that they have a lot of cookware and stuff like that it seems like every section they have here they have some of stuff that is from their country that they use for like tea cooking things we got a walk down here just really cool stuff you can buy the lays chinese potato chips for a lot more than you would spend for ours down here by the east europe and great britain section we found robin of loxley or robin hood reward five thousand dollars if you can find him they do a really great job here awesome theming got little john over here Robin so Hood. I gotta say, I don't think there is one corner of this store that's not packed. No. It is crazy packed. This is the Disney World of grocery stores. It is. Absolutely huge. It's crazy time in here. Guys, um, yeah, we're not gonna be able to do all this store. <laughs> no. Uh, we should have. We'll come back and maybe just do an international <laughs> food did, yeah, the international video one or video something. Because oh, well. we just wanted to show the place off, see what it looked like today. This place is really cool. So much to do. I mean, you could spend all day here. I feel like we have. <laughs> we have, yeah. We've been here a couple of hours. Um, we're going to end it here. Um, you know, lots of cool stuff. But, yeah, we just can't do it anymore. You know, yeah. it's... It's just so busy and can't move around. It, it's and very crowded. I feel like it's going to take an hour just to check out of here. But I yeah. hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, lots of fun. Jungle Gems. This place is really awesome. Thank you so much for watching. With all that being said, I am out, and always remember the adventure is out there.